Alzheimer's disease is a progressive, fatal brain disease named for German physician Alois Alzheimer, who first described it in 1906. As many as 5.3 million Americans are living with Alzheimer's. The disorder destroys brain cells, causing problems with memory, thinking, and behavior. Severe enough to affect work, lifelong hobbies, and social life. Alzheimer's gets much worse over time. In a small town, one organization is doing all it can in the fight against Alzheimer's disease. This organization is the Ross Camp Institute, and they are willing to educate students about this issue which is affecting so many families around the world. Understanding the complexity of this process is a challenging task, but being able to see it in action helps. The amyloid precursor protein in the phospholipid bilayer of cells in the brain is cut in two places by enzymes called beta secretase and gamma secretase. This protein segment is called beta amyloid. After it is created, the beta amyloid floats off in a soluble state. In Alzheimer's disease, it builds up in the brain and aggregates with other amyloid beta proteins, coming out of solution and forming insoluble plaques. These insoluble protein plaques increase in size as more beta amyloid is deposited, and this leads to the neurons in the brain dying. The Roskamp Institute is researching an ideal drug that will stop the enzymes from cutting the original protein, therefore slowing down the devastating effects of Alzheimer's disease. Nilvatapine is one of the many drugs that is being tested by the Roskamp Institute. There is no cure for Alzheimer's yet, but there is hope on the horizon through cutting-edge research by scientists like those working around the clock at the Ross Camp Institute. Now, there are treatments for symptoms which, when combined with the right services and support, can make life better for the millions of Americans living with Alzheimer's. There is an accelerating worldwide effort underway to find better ways to treat the disease, delay its onset, or prevent it from developing. For many patients who are suffering from Alzheimer's disease, a cure can't come fast enough.